everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. This was the piece of news pretty much heard around the YouTuber community, the VTuber community, the Hololive community, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is something that everyone is talking about today, which is Achan is, um, friend A will be leaving Hololive Productions at the end of June. So in two days, pretty much two days from today, basically the wonderful talents and staff, um, they, ha she loves the wonderful talents and staff. She loves everything that happened. She loves everything that, uh, we did, that the community did to help her feel welcome. She was there originally supporting Sora. Uh, that's why she started even being in there. She wanted to be sort of support when, you know, the agency was small and there really wasn't any official support going on there. Um, of course we have here, she says, as you are aware, uh, I've taken a step back from work over the past three months due to health concerns. And I apologize for my long absence. And while it may be sudden, I have an announcement to make friend a will be leaving hollow life productions at the end of june because it seems highly unlikely that i will be able to return to work as planned because she's had family issues like family has been um not doing so well and of course unlike uh, regular vtubers who you have the parasocial thing of you know not being married and not having all this other stuff it seems like it doesn't work it doesn't the same way for you know uh people like achan and um Right here we have, it says, uh, it seems I didn't like they'll be able to return to work as planned. I'm terribly sorry to make this announcement when a lot of you have been waiting for me, fully believing in my return. Over the past seven years or so, I've gone from starting off supporting my best friend Sora's dream of becoming an idol to meeting and interacting with Hololive production fans worldwide. Big, big news, big stuff, of course. Every step of this journey has been an incredibly valuable experience. It has been an absolute pleasure to get to know all of you through this VTuber culture. I've also managed to grow through this career, and I can say with confidence that these days have been extremely fulfilling, both personally and professionally. And for that, I have nothing but gratitude. From now on, I will be cheering Hollow Life production on from the sidelines as a fan, and I hope that I will become even more beloved across the globe. Thank you for having me these past seven years. To the fans supporting me and the rest of Hollow Life production, thank you all so much. Friend A. Achan. So yes, she's going to be uh, graduating retiring, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if they're going to be doing a graduation stream because she's technically a VTuber now. So I'm not sure if that's going to be happening, but she is deciding to end it on her terms. With the whole thing of Achan graduating and, you know, doing the whole graduation stream, uh, it is, of course, uh, the <laughs> JP Needy sisters are all going insane of happiness. Uh, for all these things, I don't understand why. Like some are just saying, get out the door, you know, Achan, you know, all those kind of things right there. I'm pretty sure it's going to be, uh, makes sense that they hate Achan. She's a manager beloved by fans and talent alike, has an incredible amount of work, both behind the scenes and as the face of management team. She speaks fluent English, has often interacted with EN and ID branches. In Edie Sandy's company culture, someone like her existing would be straight up impossible. Victims broken by cover of supposedly Hollow Pig takes out Nidhi Sanji. Destroyed by the company, aka a joke to Doki. The body became cold, meaning dying. Too uncomfortable. Uh, they're projecting so badly. They're seething that Hollow fans care more about Achan. The, you know, they care enough about Achan, which is a, uh, you know, a member of the team. Sorry for the long wait. Right now, we're going to be going into taking a look at what it actually says. She was a pillar of everything that happened in Hollow Life. So there you go. Achan retires. Have there been more victims of cover damage? Quarantine due to deletion request. Uh, it says friend A isolated due to deletion request. Uh, Pig who's getting angry for some reason over Achan's retirement. Suddenly ID. Cute. Quarantine due to deletion request. A person destroyed by a company. Uh, was wondering why the behind the scenes staff left. There were so many threads, but then I realized that they're so popular. Even had merchandise available. There are three deleted articles. Hide. The cutest hollow mem. Internal collapse. Uh, Achan got cold. No, like they're, they're just, they're just seething. They're coping and seething. Seriously, uh, do not run away in turmoil. Basically, they're trying to seethe and cope and everything about that, of course, because Achan was a pillar and they don't like pillars like that standing out. They don't like people like that actually getting any kind of benefit. Niji Sanji doesn't seem to care about their people or employees and doesn't understand that employees are irreplaceable, especially long-term employees. Yes, they may be more expensive for you in the short term, but in the long term, the benefits that they bring, I mean, if you look at a comparison of Achan and other people, uh, Nodoka, 
and others on Hollow Life and how much they're appreciated versus the way that Nidhi Sanji does not appreciate their stuff. It makes sense. Uh, it says someone's been an accountant for decades. She's good at her job. She's been into too many companies. Currently, she's a lawyer. She finally achieved her dream profession. She's studying law school for maybe around five years. Uh, compare cover Hollow Life to any cover in Nidhi Sanji. Co cover has so many good livers because they treat them well and they're best at their job. Uh, you know, because again, they're being treated well and they have seniority. To be honest, it seems like to me that they're the whole motto, thinking how quickly they are to release new waves, even though previous ones weren't able to find their footing at that point. Pray for TTT. Uh, that's exactly the problem. Their strategy was getting traction at first, but they couldn't stand the, their ground and kept effing accelerating without care and ran over half of their livers. And the thing is, the issue is, as everyone knows now, Nidhi Sandy doesn't care about the livers. They care about the money that the livers are bringing them. If the money is no longer there, the livers kind of get abandoned. Look at what's happening with EN. There wasn't enough money in them, even though they still made money. There wasn't enough money coming in from EN for uh, Nidhi Sanji to ever feel like they could support them again, like they should be supporting them again, that type of stuff. It's just really weird how they do that. But unfortunately, uh, the people from Nidhi Sanji got stuck with that. A win for Nidhi Sanji in letting uh, Victoria Brightshield collab with Mari Mari EN and other people. Of course, it's always good to see this. And here it is closer. Chained together tonight with Mari Mari Ien and Matoy Mila. Mato, yeah, Matoy Mia. At 8 p.m., 11 p.m. They're so silly for agreeing to play this with me. I appreciate it. And it is very good that Nidhi Sanji at least gave her the ability because, I mean, they're not supporting her otherwise. Might as well let her collab with anybody else that they want to because they're not doing any kind of actual support for her. If anything, it would be shocking if managers cared enough to about Vivi to check on who she's collabing with. The fact that this is a fair chance of being true is so sad. Probably forgot to restrain Vivi, either that or it's part of the plan to get terminated. The next phase will be Kersha collab. Oh God, that'd be crazy. Uh, I don't know who that is. Are they controversial? Mari Mari EN makes Pippa Pipkin, Pipkin Pippa, look like a normal sane person. Very true. Mari Mari EN is a, uh, she's a firecracker in many ways. Dangerous for agencies, according to a lot of people. Uh, underscore EN, she loves her trucking. She loves effing and most importantly she loves cranking her law oh god uh yes so she she has um uh been a very controversial figure and here is the actual tweet from victoria brightshield collab of the century very glad that she was able to do that and i'm glad that nidhi sanji uh i guess is not chaining her down with the recent news of vivi getting uh certain uh collabs that she may not have gotten in the past uh, it's understandable for people wanting to support Vivi because Vivi has not also not gotten any kind of support from the larger organization of Nidhi Sanji EN. If you want to support her without supporting Niji, then you can find her PL, which is Mogu Ghost Twitter and Twitch. I'm not going to directly lead you to there, but you can take a look at that if you want. So that's you support her through her PL and then continue to watch her streams as Vivi. Vivi has been more active on her PL recently. And while it doesn't mean she's planning on leaving, uh, she made no mention of it or hinted about it. It does look like she's setting up a backup plan in case things go bad. And of course, Mogu Ghost has uh, Streamlabs, has other ways that you can support. So let's say you like Vivi, what they're doing. You want to support them in giving them, you know, some kind of financial support. You can go for Mogu Ghost, uh, either Streamlabs or donation or whichever, Patreon, whichever it is for them. And check them out there and give them support there, of course. Uh, they all have that stuff there. Only Vivi wants to support everyone except Uki and Luca, unless they own up to their mistakes. I want to support everyone who owns up to their mistakes. Everyone who is positively going through things. Like you have, yeah, Finana's had issues. Kotoka's had issues. But they seem to be doing what they can to kind of show people that they're not the bad people that they thought they were. And if they continue doing that kind of stuff, then yes, you, I want to support all of them. It's just it sucks that they're part of Niji. A question that has been asked and a question that, you know, deserves some sort of answer. And I'll try to give it an answer the best way I can. Uh, it says, hello, I'm the one asking why merging is, thing is bad for EN. And I'm the one that's going to be giving you the answer of why it's bad for EN. Um, it's bad for EN because, as this person says here, it gives up on global expansion. With the huge success of Hollow Live and the global expansion, uh, investors have already realized that there is a large growth potential. There's a large money-making potential for uh, EN and other agencies outside. They're even seeing small agencies making a good amount of money on their EN uh, branches, like Vispo, V4 Mirai, all those. They're still, you know, 
Aka Virtual, people who are going to be going into the EN sphere are going to be making lots of money. So it's going to be a big disappointment for Nidhi Sanji investors when they decide, you know, now that they've decided that EN is not going to be a big thing. Operating costs are not high enough for the incompetence of the EN management. Quarter 4 report also stated that they're not going to invest in EN anymore. At least it seems like that. It's based on what happened with ID, KR, and IN, in uh, IN being India. Various issues and controversies ended with Nidhi Sanji merging the branches into the main branch in order to hide those losses and damages. Theory is that with EN now dwindling, they will merge EN into the main branch to hide their losses from Salen Shock and other incidents, although the losses are already shown. ID was doing much better than EN currently is. With ID and KR merged into the main branch, and AC has already admitted to the investors that they're going to be focusing on domestic market, which uh, it sh I'm surprised why it hasn't scared the investors. It usually does, and it usually should, because these types of things are meaning that they are not going to be going for anything bigger. Of course, I'm all for criticizing uh, Nidhi Sanji in their things that they do in the ways that they treat their talents, in the ways that they try to grow or lack of growth of their talents. But um, sometimes people go a little too far, in my opinion. And this one is like saying unnatural growth in subs for Nidhi Pandey's new livers. Other than the livers that have been miserable, but only the mascot has recorded a growth in subs, even though it does not have many viewers. Uh, you don't think they're manipulating subs, do you? I don't think they are. I think, like I said before, I will say it again every single chance I get. Loon Loon is their own individual person still, even though they're under Nidhi Sanji. They are a mascot character, as in they are a non-human character. That is still very uh, rare inside of any uh, VTuber circles, even more so a large agency like Nidhi Sanji. So there is that aspect of it. There's the aspect that it is a Japanese person as well, a Japanese liver. There's also the aspect of it being the honeymoon phase. And once the newness of it wears off it it made this level up so i am a person like i mentioned that i always criticize Nidhi sanji for what they do but let loon loon have their success miserable debut they cracked 17 ccv with their platform 8 stream and zatsu yesterday was 7k ccv outperforming even for moko and mint in that sense getting 130k isn't unnatural loon loon is new and different and quite unlike what Nidhi sanji previously had they're basically a magical girl anime mascot both in looks and personality in a country that loves the mascots it makes sense people are, will at least be curious about them yes it's a novel new thing and of course people are going to be uh very curious about it that's one of the things that's helping loon loon a very unique and polite way of using japanese that many people will love as well uh omaru poka wala jp also mentioned on the stream that the, that oh poka likes her too so yeah it's just the, the novelness of it the newness of it the fact that it is a mascot character so Unfortunately, we've been kind of conditioned to expect the worst from Nidhi Sanji, but I'm glad that at least one of them is having some success, and they're all doing pretty okay so far as well. This is a short thought exercise, just trying to get you guys, you know, thinking a little bit. Will Hololive take in any of the EN livers if they come knocking? I think they're just going to go through the regular... Uh, checks and balances that happen with you know uh, auditions and such if the en livers are proven to be a good culture fit and proven to be uh very talented as en seems to really like very talented people uh especially hollow life they go for the best of the best so if they are the best of the best then they will get uh, allowed in i don't think being a part of niji being ex niji being terminated by niji or whatever is really going to stop them i think hollow life has been very much so especially en and jp both of their 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 an id as well have all been a merit based thing so if you have merit if you do well if you're showing holy crap you're amazing then yeah they're gonna get you now uh they're too high profile involved in so much drama i'm not sure that's the case i'm not sure that's the case i'm not sure that that the en stuff they will actually uh be prevented from joining i'm not sure it could very well be though but because i'm not really 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 into the business side of uh vtubing it's under the assumption that Hollow is a retirement home or something. Hollow Live Audition is an extremely competitive process. They have a better chance of V Shoujo, to be honest. Very true. Like I said, it's all meritocracy. If if they have an indie who's like way better at whatever they're looking for at in that specific EN sphere than the person who is there who is used to be from Nidhi Sanji, then of course the person who is the best at it will be chosen. The memes, Mason. We're at the memes again. More things that got 3D model before most of Nichi Yen. Apparently, a Mio elephant got a 3D model. Um, Kei-san and Henya got a 3D model, of course. Uh, you have, you know, the full 3D model for both. You have Orca whale soldiers got a 3D model. 
you have also the 3D debut this summer of uh, the Fumoko and everybody else. You got Regloss, which got 3D models, it looks like as well. You got Shion and an effing cup of curry ramen got a 3D model before most of Niji EN. This is freaking crazy that these little things are getting 3D models before Niji EN is. Moving on, looks like we're starting the final plunge. Gentlemen, it has been a privilege working with you all, or watching you all in this case. Disappointed Niji EN fan, of course, having the plunge. And this was, I believe, from the Titanic movie, James Cameron's Titanic movie. It is an interesting thing to look at. Small little blurb about uh, Doki Bird right now. Vivid Vision and her baby are cosplaying Doki uh, and Tomato for AX. Right over here. Vivid Vision Anime Expo. Baby and I are cosplaying as Doki Bird and Tomato for Anime Expo. Our names, Noms, Kafko, Booth 520 is having a special event. Oh, that's for the special event. Okay. Join us cause our fight for fight against hunger. Let's fill, it, fill it up Doki's Tomato Farm, which hopefully will happen. It's that one that I mentioned the other day uh, about, you know, her kind of a charity thing. Uh, Doki Bird always doing charities because, you know, she loves charities. So doing something like that is a wonderful thing for both of them. So adorable. She made the tomato face. Those two are adorable. They do a lot of mommy baby cosplays on Instagram and they're always super fun. Still the only I Hoshino cosplayer I've seen with actual tiny Ruby by her side. Um, the tomato eyes are kind of suspicious. What are you looking at there, tomato? Yeah, you look at tomato ones right there. <laughs> it's cute. It's very cute. It's wonderful to see these types of things from fans of Doki. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.